Welcome to JASP Tutorials. Today I'll show you how to do a Bayesian binomial test using JASP. The first step is to load the data into JASP by going to the File tab, clicking on Computer, then Browse, find your data set, in this case ours is called binomial.csv, double click it, and now we've loaded the data. You can see in the data panel here that there were two response options, correct and incorrect, and the participant performed 150 trials. We wanted to know whether the participant was purely guessing or whether their proportion correct is better than chance. To do the Bayesian binomial test, go up to Frequencies and click on Bayesian binomial test from the drop-down menu. Now we're into the Options panel. Let's go through some of the options. The first option is the test value, and this corresponds to the traditional null hypothesis. In our experiment, since there were two options and we want to know if the participant is purely guessing, our test value is set to 0.5. The next option is the hypothesis option. This is where you specify your alternative hypothesis. The default test is a non-directional alternative, but in our case, we wanted to know if the participant was performing better than chance. So we're going to select the greater than test value hypothesis. The third option is the prior parameter option. If you had relevant background knowledge, you can incorporate that here but for now we're going to leave it at the default values of 1. We'll come back to the rest of the options later, but for now let's get on to the analysis. In the results panel to the right, there's an empty table. To populate it, drag the outcome variable from the left box to the right box. Let's go over this table. In the table, there are five columns. The level column lists the possible outcomes on each trial. The counts column lists the total number of times each outcome occurred. The total column lists the total number of trials. The proportion column is the observed proportion for each outcome. And the BF column lists the Bayes factor. In this case, we're interested in the correct outcome. We had 70 correct out of 150 total for an observed proportion of about 0.47 and a base factor in favor of the alternative of about 0.06. Now base factors below 1 can be difficult to interpret, so what we'll do is go back to the options panel and switch from BF10 to BF01. And now you'll see that the base factor is about 17 in favor of the null hypothesis. What this means is that the null hypothesis predicted the data 17 times better than the alternative hypothesis. Now that we've covered the main table, there are two more options for the Bayesian binomial test. The first of which is the prior and posterior plot option. So let's click on that. And here you see the prior distribution is the dashed line, and the posterior distribution is the solid line. And most of the posterior distribution falls within 0.5 to about 0.6. You'll also notice there are two dots on this plot. These dots represent the height of the curve at the test value. So the first dot on the prior distribution is lower than the dot on the posterior distribution. This means that the base factor supports the null hypothesis. If the dot on the posterior distribution had been lower than the dot on the prior distribution, then the alternative hypothesis would have been supported. To show more information on this plot, let's click on the Additional Info option. Now you see a graphical representation of the Bayes factor, 
as well as a 95% credible interval. The final option for the Bayesian binomial test is the sequential analysis plot option. Let's scroll down and you'll see here that the x-axis is the number of data points. On the y-axis, there's the Bayes factor. And on this plot, we track the Bayes factor as it changes after every data point. Now you'll see here that the Bayes factor above 1 represents evidence in favor of the null hypothesis, and a Bayes factor below 1 represents evidence in favor of the alternative hypothesis. It's a little bit jaggy at first here, but you see it smooths out. And by the end, the base factor winds up between 10 and 30, which in some contexts, people would say is strong evidence. And that's all there is to it. This has been a Bayesian binomial test using JASP. Thanks for watching.